Well, it's always crucial to get a good start to the season. We uh, in Grand Prix Marseille and the Toile de Passage are very nice races. If you get a good result in the early races, it, it always helps the team with uh, exposure at the start of the season and it helps getting into more races as well. So, yeah, it's hugely important to get good results at the start of the season. Uh, GP Marseille is a one-day event. Uh, it's generally very hilly, although it tends to finish in a, a bigger group sprint. Um, there's a lot of big teams there and then some of the smaller French teams. It's, a, it's normally a very hard race due to maybe the cold weather and it's the first race of the year, so there's a lot of nerves. Uh, the condition isn't that great. Uh, two days later then, the Toile Passage starts, which is five days. So the five days in the stage race really test your you know, your endurance at that time of the year. It's the same really kind of rolly roads, uh, some hills, not very long hills, but at that time of the year they all feel uh, very long. There's also a team uh, starting in Marseillaise and in Bessage, uh, where we won last year a stage with Nico. Uh, we're going to go back also try to do a good result in, uh, in stages and in general classement. And uh, yeah, I'm happy with the opportunities we get from organizers. So it means that every rider of the team is going to have racing from the start of the season. So it, it will make everybody stronger and give, uh, make their preparation complete. The events are coming up now at the start, the Qatar event. It's a really big event. It's uh, where all the Pro Tour teams start. So that's, we did it in the past, in the, in the start of the team. Uh, but now I think this race has also developed to a new level. And I think this is going to be a crucial start because now we split the team up. Uh, directly on two fronts we are going to race. And that makes it complicated from the start. The new Irish lads, I know, I know them from before. And I know how, how good they are on the bike. So that's uh, exciting to get some talented young Irish guys on board and the Belgian guys, I know a lot of them from racing before, racing against them and uh, have been impressed by a few of them in the races so hopefully they can carry that form across to this team and, and do well for us too. To be in uh, Qatar and Amman it's very important also for the team and for the riders because it's the beginning of the season, there's a lot of uh, press there and uh, a lot of uh, cycling people is interested in that race and everybody the season is new and everybody watches it very good so if we can be there with the, the biggest teams of the world it's it's an honor for us to be there it's, it's not easy to be there if you see that uh, lotto can go to qatar and that we are invited so and uh, the name of sean isn't uh, it's uh, something special uh, still in the in racing and he can open a lot of doors, so it's now to us to, to show that we are on the right place there. The Tour of Qatar is uh, it's a big plus for the team because uh, to get into that uh, race, uh, that category of race, uh, the, the team that we have got, Continental, is not easy, but um, I think it's, uh, it's the fruit of what we've been doing in the past. Uh, they have seen that we are, you know, an up-and-coming team, progressing every year. Uh, we're, you know, a, a well-organised, a well-structured team, and for that reason, I suppose we got uh, that was part of getting the invitation, and of course the riders as well that we've got this year. Uh, Qatar and Oman are races with uh, huge exposure because it's all big teams, and it's one of the opening races, and um, it's uh, televised live, and it's, it's just good for the sponsors like Post and to get on the TV and. It's an opportunity for us to show ourselves off. The Tour Guitar is something I've been watching on TV for the last couple of, year, couple of years and didn't really expect, well, if I was looking at it last year, I wouldn't expect that this year I'd be coming into it, but I'm really looking forward to it now and I'm ready to give it a good shot. It's a flat race with a lot of winds and it's normally where I'm good, like, so looking forward to seeing how it goes. The Tour of Oman will be slightly hillier, so hopefully it'll be a little bit less wind. Huge experience to be gained uh, for the riders getting into that race because they're with the top teams in the world. Yeah.